Elasticache is a service which helps to improve the performance of web applications by allowing user to retrieve information from fast managed in-memory caches. Hey guys, welcome to another video of your favorite cloud learning platform, K21 Academy, where you learn cloud from the experts. Now let's have a look at the agenda of this video. First we will be covering what is Amazon Elasticache. Then we will be moving on to different types of Amazon Elasticache. We have taken this clip from our step-by-step -step learning program on AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Now let's hear from an expert. Elastic Cache Services. As the name suggests, the cache services for the databases. The third one, in-memory databases. So we can query the database with microsecond latency it's very fast if you want to have you want to maintain the cache and you want to have a faster access to the information which is stored in the database usually caches are used for read purpose only usually but they can be used for the write also for smaller write operations also they are being used nowadays but then usually caches are used for read purpose and the reading should be really quick in case of the caches so the in-memory databases are offered by Amazon with the name Elasti Cache, which are used for leaderboards, real-time analytics, and caching services. So this Elasti Cache database is not only used for the caching, it is also used for leaderboards and real-time analytics if something has to be done on, or these are the used cases. So if you want to create a leaderboard kind of application or you want to have a real-time analytics happening, or caching so these are the three used cases of elastic cache so in elastic cache basically how, how it happens that this is your normal database whenever your user via the application are trying to access the database in specific the responses are slow but if it is a cache that is being accessed by the user it is fast by cache because so whenever there is a cache so actually what happens so whatever is the frequently used data from your database is kept in a uh, ram kind of memory faster memory it is kept over here so whenever there is a read request being generated by the user the information will be first surged into the cache if it is not received by like if it is not available in the cache then the user will go to the database and will fetch the information. So if he gets it in the cache, the response will be very quick. Otherwise, the usual latency will be taken if the, the, the database is going to respond. So that is a cache service. So when we are creating a elastic cache environment in cloud, it actually helps you to improve the performance of your application, web application, because your user will be able to retrieve the information from a faster source. That is Amazon's Elastic Cache. It helps you to set up, manage, and scale a distributed in-memory cache environment in cloud. Who helps you? Amazon Elastic Cache service. This service of Amazon helps you to create a caching environment for yourself in the cloud. Set up, manage, and scale you can do all these things now you know the meaning of these words so you can create a caching environment for yourself in the cloud it supports two open source in memory engines that is redis and memcached it support these are the two most commonly used one most actually the these are the two ones which are used the in memory cache engines that are being used are redis and memcached and amazon helps you uh, or you can say supports both of them but it gives you a managed service on this so it sub gives you amazon elastic cache memcache d and also amazon elastic cache redis okay so both the versions of elastic cache services are available in amazon so when it is memcache d so the general users who are actually working with memcache d they know what this particular service is so this is actually available in amazon also for the same purpose so it supports and use the multi-threading environment so you can say parallel processing can happen so there will be multiple nodes inside the cluster and all of them will be working in the parallel processing model so as to respond to the queries of the user the memcached cache cluster supports both horizontal and vertical scaling 
as i have told you horizontal multiple nodes will be launched maximum up to 100 nodes for cache service can be launched in a cluster you can have 100 nodes so this is horizontal scaling and even it supports the vertical scaling so the same node will be scaled up for the faster turnaround time it is very fast and a well established service which helps you to create the caching environment similarly your elastic acid redis is also the caching service so it is also engine redis it uses the redis engine and it also helps you to create a in memory data structure store so it can be used as a database as a cache or as a message broker because in redis in memcached you cannot perform any you know update operation whereas in the redis you can actually do the update operation also that's why it is said that it can act as a database not only as a cache it can even act as a database cache and a message broker so it can perform all this it is a single threaded application uh, the cache service this this cache service is single threaded and it creates read replicas which gets replication asynchronously it can have six nodes six redis nodes can be have in a shard so uh, this is what your elastic cache service is we hope that you like the video we have put on everything about the certification including the basic concepts that you should be knowing about on this 8 week learning path for aws certified solutions architect where we start from the very basics like introduction to cloud we move on to create cloud account machine and install cli then we do security management aws then we cover object storage options after that we move on to designing computing environment after that we cover load balancer root 53 and auto scaling 1 and then load balancer root 53 and auto scaling 2 after that we cover networking and monitoring services we follow on with database server and analytics we next cover application and messaging services we move on with configuration management and automation after that we cover architecting on aws 1 and then architecting on aws 2 to cover it up we help you with your certification with tips and resources for clearing certification then cv preparation and then we also guide you through how to register for exam and prepare for the certification exam of aws certified solutions architect associate and after that we help you with some sample questions and projects for solutions architect exam we have a separate team for cv preparation and on job support so if you want to learn from basic to expert level then we have a comprehensive step by step training for you that includes hands on labs and exam prep and one year on job support if you are interested in this program then i would highly recommend you to join our free class this interactive session or free class will help you in gaining an understanding of why and who should learn aws cloud job opportunities in aws cloud core aws services iam compute storage networking ha and dr architecture and many more there is also going to be a live demo in which we will demonstrate how to create and configure load balancer with ec2 and for all the people who will be joining in this is going to be a special gift you're going to get a 25 sample exam questions for aws solutions architect as a free bonus when you will be attending this free class till the very end so to register this free class go at k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 now i'll be demonstrating how you will register for this free class You can register for this webinar or any of the browsers out there. You just need to search K21 Academy AWS SA02 and click enter. Once you do that, you will be redirected to this web page for the registration of this free class come webinar. Click on register now. First, select the event date that you want to attend it on. Then enter your name and your email ID. After that enter your phone number click on yes save my seat once you click on that you will be redirected to this particular page 
This means that you are indeed successfully registered for the webinar. Make sure you are redirected to this page because then only you will be registered for the webinar. You can have a look at what you'll be learning in this webinar here as well.